Hello, I'm Haley Hanahan from LittleSleepersAndDreamers.com and I am your pediatric sleep consultant. This video is the first in my five part video series which include my top five sleep training tips. Do me a favor and hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you will be notified when the next videos are available. In this video, we will talk about darkening your child's room. You will learn why you need to darken your child's room, how to test and make sure your child's room is dark enough, and if you stick around to the end, I will give you some recommendations of how you can make your child's room dark, whether at home or while traveling. If you have any questions and want to reach out to me, please email me at littlesleepersanddreamers at gmail.com and I would love to connect with you. Training tip number one, darken your child's room. First, let me start by saying that if your child is sleeping 11 to 12 hours a night without a single night waking and also has great naps, there's no need to make any changes. But if you are struggling, you may need to darken your child's room. So let's talk about why. So if you go to sleep, and wake up early before your alarm clock or before it's time to wake up, you look at your clock, see, oh, it's only 5 a.m., roll over and go back to sleep. Well, babies can't tell time. They rely on their brain. So if you have light in their room, it will go past their eyelids to their brain to tell them to stop making melatonin. That will cause night wakings, early morning wake-ups, and even short naps. You need to make sure that your child's room is dark. Now, how dark, you might ask. Here's what you need to do. I want you, in the middle of the day, go into your child's bedroom. I want you to shut the door, stand there a few minutes, let your eyes adjust, and then hold up your hand. Can you see it? If you can see your hand, then it is not dark enough. You need to make it so dark that you cannot see your hand because that light that's allowing you to see your hand is signaling your little one to wake up. So you might say, but Haley, I might always need to have a dark room for my child. Then they'll just be accustomed to it. Here's what I say to that. If a dark room helps your child sleep through the night and gives them restful sleep, why would you want anything else? Stick around to the end because I will give you tips on to how to make the room dark when traveling so that it won't even be an issue. Sometimes I find that parents will keep a little nightlight on in the nursery for them. Babies don't need the nightlight. It's so that they can see when they come in and do things. Well, that's great for you to see, but your baby does not need that light, night light, and it should be off. If you need to go in to either do a check or to um, help your baby in any way, either turn on a hall light and crack the door, or use a little flashlight on your phone briefly, and then shut it off when you are done so that your baby can have a dark environment. Now, some of you might have toddlers or preschoolers and they might be scared of the dark. Now, if they don't verbally say that they are scared of the dark, don't mention it. But if they are telling you that they are scared of the dark, I have a solution for you. You can get a salt lamp for them. Get a salt lamp with a dimmer and set it to the lowest spot. This 
red light is the least intrusive and will help them to have a little bit of light yet not disturb their sleep. So let's talk about what you can do to darken your child's room. The first option is to order paper blinds. These are great because they are affordable and you can cut them to size. You stick them up at the top of the window, pull them down, and it covers almost all of the light. Throw some darkening curtains over that and your child's room is dark. Now, everything I mention in this part of the video is linked in the description box below. So if you wanna find a link to any of these items, Go ahead and look in the description box. Another option is the Blackout Easy. Now this is something that you will want to keep in the window for a while. It's a little bit of a hassle taking in and out and isn't really an option for every single day. This is Velcroed to the window to keep the light out. And the last option I have for you is the best option it takes it keeps all of the light out but it is also the most expensive so this option is really only for you if you can afford it and if you are in a place that you will be for a while this indo window shade pops in your window you get it custom to size of your window it pops in it pulls out in the morning and good to go now for my son's room, he is actually in more of a den. So there aren't any windows, which is great, nice and dark, but he has double doors that are right off of our dining room. So light can pour in through those doors. So what can you do if light comes through the doors? What I did was I got a tension rod and a curtain a blackening curtain, dark out curtain, and put it in front of the door on the inside of his bedroom. So all of the light is blocked out through there. Other options, especially if you have a single door, is to take a fitted sheet and put it over the door. A twin sheet will go right over all um, the whole door and will help to block out any of the light that comes through the cracks. So that is another great option. Now, if you are traveling, what can you do? There are a couple cheap options. You can either bring some foil or trash bags, get duct tape or masking tape, um, tape that up. That is a tr uh, quick, easy, cheap, affordable um, option. Another option is a portable darkening shade. So Amazon has the shades where they are like suction cup to the windows and can block out the light that way. The final option I have for you, which is again, the most expensive, but also a great, great option is the slumber pod. The slumber pod is for um, children, it is like a tent. It goes over a pack and play or maybe a really small mattress and it blocks out all of the light. But it is also really breathable. So that is a perfect one for traveling or even if you are still sharing your room with your little one, they can go in the slumber pod. So again, all of these suggestions are linked in the description box below. I hope you check them out and can find something that will make your child's room as dark as possible. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and comment down below how you are doing in your sleep training journey. Also, if you would like my sleep training tips, all five of them already written out, Head down to the description box below and you will find a link to grab that. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you in the next one. Sweet dreams.